Our patient today, Drew Warner, has a central line and it's to his right subclavian vein, so it's on his right chest, and he needs a dressing change per our hospital policy. So I needed to look up policy and procedures and I see that um, a clean dressing needs, a sterile dressing um, needs to be changed if there's no leakage or anything every seven days. So Mr. Warner is due for a dressing change this morning. So I'm going to just take a peek at his chart and I am going to verify um, what his allergies are. And he does have an allergy to morphine, but of course I'm gonna check when I get in the room as well. And then I'm going to wash my hands and gather my equipment. And what I need for this, um, this sterile dressing change is a central venous access device dressing change kit that's not expired. And I also um, want to think about why I'm doing this and what my outcomes are. He has a central venous access device, most likely for frequent blood draws and for um, a lot of volume or perhaps vesicant types of solutions. And I want to uh, maintain aseptic technique because one of the uh, most prevalent problems with a central venous access device is actually becoming infected. I've already checked when I went in the room earlier this morning and his dressing is dry and intact and underneath the skin is not irritated and there's no leaking or anything. Good morning. Hi Mr. Warner. I'm Kim again and I'm this morning I'm back again to take a look at your central line and to do a dressing change on that and um, this will use sterile technique for the procedure. Just gonna get you up a little bit higher here. And I've got my patient label and, okay, just wanna check. Can you tell me your, late, your name again? Drew Warner, okay. And your medical record number matches my label. Date of birth, 3-11-67, good, okay. And what allergies do you have, sir? Morphine, okay. Any um, latex or sensitivities to adhesives or anything like that? No. Okay, very good. Well, the cleaning agent is going to be called chlorhexidine that we're going to be using here. And I'm going to go ahead and just expose your chest so that we can take a look at that central line again. And the dressing is intact right now and looks good. So you shouldn't feel any burning. It, you might feel a little bit of the tape pulling. So sometimes people will complain of that for discomfort, right? So I'm just going to get things set up here. Great, and I'm gonna move my garbage can into place. I'll wash my hands again just to make sure and I'm going to don some clean gloves. Okay. And now um, I'm going to open up my central line dressing kit. to take out very carefully my mask and I'm going to your patient to turn their head away from the dressing and I'm going to pick up my sterile drape and open that the edges and set it down and then I'm going to pull out my gloves and pour the contents onto my sterile field. Okay. Then with my clean gloves, I'm not going to cross over my sterile field. I'm going to begin away from the dressing Good. I just don't want any germs um, being breathed onto that site once we get that dressing off. Okay, sir? Now I'm going to stabilize by putting my finger on that hub on the central line. I'm going to stabilize that while I pull back from the corners the dressing. I do not want to touch that catheter with my gloved hand. So I'm pulling away still stabilizing that catheter so if it's not sutured in it does not come out and then pulling that dressing off okay stay where you are sir you're doing great I'm going to take my gloves off and I am 
dumping them in my waste basket. I'm going to put on my sterile gloves. I'm not turning my back on my sterile field so that I can see what's going on on my patient's central line. Sir, you're doing really great. I'm going to take my chlorhexidine and activate it by squeezing the handles and then I am going to push it right onto the patient's insertion site and I'm going to scrub back and forth and then I'm going to scrub up and down and I'm going to do this for 30 seconds. doing great sir being very careful not to dislodge the catheter okay then I'm going to drop that my skin prep and make a picture window around the insertion site and I'm going to drop that and then at this point I may need to put a bio patch on. If I did, I would have had to drop that onto my sterile field before I began. Then I'm going to take my dressing, and it's a picture frame, and I'm going to center that sterile, I'm going to center the insertion site in the middle of that frame and make sure that I pull, uh, push it down snugly and then remove the edges. And on the edge of this picture frame, there is a sticker, and I'm no longer sterile at this point. I'm going to write my time, date, and initials on that, not covering any part of the insertion site or the catheter. So up out of the way where people can see that when it was changed and who changed it, but not covering the insertion site. Okay, Mr. Warner, you did excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and take off my mask. Go ahead. Did it hurt or anything? No, okay, wonderful, you did really well. Let me reel up. Can I reposition you? No, I'm comfortable. Okay, very good. I'm just gonna get you in the lowest position, give you your call light. Bed is locked. Call me if you need anything, okay? And I'm gonna clean up my garbage. Here's your bedside table back, sir. And I'm going to go out and document after I wash my hands. So I wash my hands and I am going to document that I changed the um, central line dressing change to Mr. Drew Werner's right subclavian catheter site using sterile technique. The patient tolerated the procedure well and there's no inflammation or signs of um, infection around the dressing and um, everything looks clean and intact.